The doctor said that I will do, I'll be done some tests and it became positive. And we, that's why we started chemo. The life of 11-year-old Hope Wamboi suddenly took a turn for the worst in November 2020 when she was diagnosed with osteogenic sarcoma, a type of cancer that affects children and targets the growing bones of the limbs. I was extremely shocked because since in our family reign, there has ever been someone who had cancer before. The condition was diagnosed by doctors after her parents discovered a lump in her thigh and consequently sought medical attention. She had went six cycles of the chemotherapy. It was not easy because for the first three days she had to be admitted in the hospital. Then after three days we had to go home after she was discharged. Then for the next around three days things were not that good because even taking foods, fruits was a real problem. However, chemotherapy was more of draining her more than treating, and her condition gradually deteriorated. Hope was forced to put a hold to her studies while at fourth grade. The advice she received from doctors, however... If we don't do the amputation at this stage, because the cancer has not moved, within two years, our daughter will be no more. Yeah, so we had no more choice. I was shocked, but I didn't... I just said and I just accepted that. After a costly treatment of about 900,000 Kenya shillings, Hope finally recovered from cancer in July this year. She is currently awaiting a prosthesis before returning to school. I'm so excited that I'm going back to school. My friends have supported me very much because even they bring me homework I do and the teachers are so happy. The number one uh, childhood cancer is leukemia. Dr. Jesse Raduma, an oncologist at Texas Cancer Center, highlights some of the common cancers among children. Brain and spinal cord tumors. Again, there's a variation in terms of age, where we see leukemia is commonly occurring between three to five years of, of age. Then there are other types of cancers like bone cancer, the primary bone cancer, osteogenic sarcoma, are seen more commonly in older children or the teenagers. However, there are fears that some types of cancers among children are hidden behind the symptoms of other diseases and patients only get to know their status when it's too late. Parents need to be on the lookout for common symptoms such as uh, unexplained weight loss. Uh, when your child is having a fever that is not attributable to any cause or has been treated recurrently for uh, infections, then a uh, healthcare provider as well as the parent need to be a bit worried the other common presentation include uh, bone swelling, bone pain. A child would present with a lump or a mass in the chest, in the abdomen, in the pelvis or in the armpit. Uh, we can also have children developing a white reflex or white light in the pupil. When you look at the, li the eye of the pupil, you see there's a light that is coming out from the eye. Uh, then uh, sometimes it might develop visual loss or swelling of the eye. Children as young as three years old can also be exposed to factors that may expose them to cancer-causing agents. When you have a strong family history of cancer, then uh, we talk about possible genetic mutation in the family that can be heritable. So that is one of the common causes of this cancer. The other one is environmental factors. So exposure to ionizing radiation, which can be both accidental or medical exposure, Exposure to chemicals like uh, diethyl stilbestrol or some of the chemotherapeutic agents that we give these patients. Dr. Raduma warns that when a child recovers from cancer, it is important to continue with medical examination as there is a risk of developing cancer later on in life. In Kenya, about 3,000 children are diagnosed with various forms of cancer each year and only 10% fully recover. The primary reason why most of these children do not do well uh, as per a report that was done by WHO, is uh, malnutrition actually. So some of these children normally come from a very poor background, and on top of uh, having a challenge accessing treatment for the, uh, the cancer, they also have challenges with feeding and malnutrition. Hope is one of those who have recovered, and now her advice to cancer patients is... Even though it's a long journey, we can survive if, if we trust. Because if you believe you're a conqueror, you will survive. As it is known to Hope and her family, cancer is treatable. However, to minimize the chances of suffering advanced stages of cancer, among other illnesses, doctors advise that Kenyans embrace medical checkups, not only to learn the state of their health, but also to start early treatment in case of a positive diagnosis. Ben Kerera K24, Health Beat.